so excited about this planner, you guys. I have been working on this planner day and night. Notion has become an obsession of mine. I designed this planner for people in mind who you're not messing around this year and you want to accomplish things. You know what goals you have and you know that you need a plan in order to achieve this and you just want to feel organized and have structure and have a strategy moving forward. This year I've really learned the power of having a planning system that works for you and allows you to not have to overthink things. Each week you show up already knowing what you need to do. It's just a matter of taking action. And also I built this with growing the template in mind. So this is the base Flourish Planner Notion template. And then throughout this year, I'm going to be releasing different Notion trackers. Like for the new year, I'm gonna be releasing a Notion book tracker. And I'll show you how you can add these templates to this planner so that way you can continuously build out your dashboard. So let's take a look at the 2025 Notion Flourish Planner. We are inside of the planner. This is the home page, the main dashboard. Here's the cover and I included 20 different cover images. I have a bunch of different options for you to customize it and you can add in whatever colors you want. And I also have these blurbs on top of each page which just has quick instructions on how to use the planner. I have a full in-depth tutorial when you buy this that will just walk you through literally everything you need to know. But moving on. So over here you have your navigation. This goes to all of the different pages in the Notion template. Here you have a little yearly progress bar. So this is just how far we are into the year, month, week, and day. Then here you have your upcoming tasks. So this is filtered by this week. So this is going to show all of the tasks that you have scheduled due for this week or by the end of this week. And then you also have an archive here. So if you check something off, it'll just go into the archive. And also when you get this planner, it will be blank. So here you have all of your upcoming tasks. You have a little widget of a clock here. And then down here you have your 2025 goals. And then down here you have your life vision boards. All right, so then from there, I'm just gonna go down this row and quickly touch on each of these. So first you have your mobile view, and this is what you'll use if you are on your phone, so that way you have the best mobile experience possible. This is where you can go, so that way it looks really nice on your phone. I put some quick actions here, and then down here you have your normal navigation. Then moving down, we have our life vision. So this will be the first thing that you fill out whenever you get your planner. And here I have three different pages. You have your life vision, your dream day in the life, and your strategy to get there. Each of these comes with prompts. It's basically like a little journal entry. So these are just really nice to have to kind of brain dump everything. So you have your things here, and then here you have your life vision board. These images actually populate from what you fill out down here. So this is the main thing you're gonna fill out in this section, and as you fill this out, these images will populate up here. You can brain dump all of your vision details. I have it separated by, you know, personal relationships, health and fitness, financial career, mental, hobbies, home life, travel, education. And then at the end, you have an archive. So if you complete any of these, you can just archive it and keep it there. Within each of these, you pick a category. Here's where you'll put the photo. You can connect this to goals, any goals that you have whenever you start to fill those out. Um, you can connect it to resources and notes, which I will talk about later. And then here's where you know, you'll know you write out, what is this vision? What does it mean to you? So you can really go into each of these and get detailed. As you add photos um, like this, like the photos will start to populate up here. And I just really like it because each photo corresponds with a specific goal or dream you have. So that way when you're looking at your vision board, it's not just random photos. Each one has meaning and you can go into each one and really break it down. So moving on from there, you have your 2025 goals. So you have 2025 intentions, 2025 manifestations, and 2025 strategy. Once again, each of these has a prompt for you to follow and it's gonna help you when you're going down here to fill out your entire goal dashboard. Like the life vision um, section, 
you have your 2025 vision board, which is populated based on your goals. So this is where you'll fill out all of your goals. You'll just go down the line. So then you can see whenever you actually open up the goal, you can fill out all of this stuff here. You can add a category, a status. You can add a photo, which is what will populate your vision board up here. You can connect it to a vision. So just delete that and you can see You'll go to vision and you can connect it to any one of the vision items that you just filled out previously that we just talked about. So write a book, I would connect this to become a best-selling author. So I just think that's really cool that you can kind of see what the big dream is and then what's this year's milestone that you need to accomplish. Um, you can add notebooks, which I will show you, resources and a deadline. And then down here you have your goal overview, which is where you'll add a description of your goal, what you hope to accomplish. And then down here is where you'll put in all of the tasks that you need to accomplish to achieve the goal. So this is where you really break down your goal and set deadlines for yourself. So that way you stay on track. You can just see, you can add here like draft one and you want that due by, let's say you want it due by March 1st, okay? Outline book. Let's say you want that due by the end of this week, by tomorrow. And you'll see that when you add a deadline for a task that's due tomorrow, it populates there. You have outline your book by tomorrow attached to your write a book goal. And then whenever you complete a task, you can just check it off and it will populate down here so you can see all of the tasks that you have completed for this goal, the tasks you still have to do for this goal. Let's go into the planner which is where you'll be spending most of your time week to week and day to day, checking in on your tasks, seeing where you're at. Right up here, you have your weekly tasks and most of these are going to be related to like a goal that you have. And again, if you click check, it'll go into the archive. And as the weeks come up, you can add more tasks here. So if there's a new task that you think of, along with, let's just keep going with the write a book. Maybe you're like, okay, I need to do some world building. You have a world building brainstorm and you know you wanna do that by the end of the week. So the due date is gonna be at the end of the week. This is attached to your write a book goal and it's not started yet. Anything that goes into a database like this is gonna be something that you want to keep track of. Um, it's something that you want to save in your master to-do list database. I really wanted a place that was just a simple classic planner that wasn't connected to any databases. There was no um, like backlog. Like this is just a simple place to put your daily to-do list. And the way I envision myself using this and all of you is that you'll go up here and you'll see, okay, this week I need to outline a book film a YouTube vlog, call a real estate agent. And down here, you can kind of each day go in and make your to-do list. Um, there's also a space over here for just extra reminders like laundry, call Lauren, uh, get cookies for book club. Those are some things that you don't necessarily need to track them in this database. And they're not really attached to any big goal. They're not like a project. It's just kind of these one-off things that you have to do. And so this is a place for you to put some of those things throughout the week and then each day kind of map out what is your day going to look like. Once you're done with this, let me move my little thing over here. You can highlight it like this, drag it over the to-do list archive, drop it in there, then hit this button, new to-do list. And there it creates a new blank to-do list for you. And then when you go into your to-do list archive, there's last week's. So you can keep an archive of all of your plans throughout the week if you wanna save them. Of course, you can just hit delete if you want and then add a new template if you don't care about saving it. So that's kind of like your weekly view. You have your weekly tasks and then these are your daily to-do list that you'll put in. And then down here you have your monthly plan, your month at a glance. So over here you have a calendar view and you also have the to-do list view. This is just helpful because you know you can see everything that's due this month and then when you check it off it'll go into your archive so you'll just tap this 
go to archive and you can see all of your tasks that you've already completed um, for the month. And then here's all the ones that you still need to do. You can like drag things around and kind of like reschedule stuff. And this automatically updates for every month. So you can see, you can plan months in advance if you want to. And then down here is just a little ideal routine for your day and your week. I'm reminding myself of kind of like what my ideal it allows me to plan out what my ideal routine is. What is my perfect day? If I had the perfect day, and then if I had the perfect week, what would my workout routine be? What would my posting schedule look like? What things would I do for, for social and for fun throughout the week? So that is your planner. You have your habit tracker. I used some coding in this habit tracker. I didn't think I had it in me either. Every day, automatically, a new habit tracker will populate. And then as you check off your habits, this little percentage bar will go up. Now, the one thing about having these cool features in there is that you can't really add or subtract habits unless you wanna go in and edit the code. But you can change these habits to whatever you want and it will sync and be work perfectly. Then we have the daily journal, just a little simple reflection that you can do every day or whenever you want to, to check in with your goals. So when you add a new page, it will automatically bring up the prompts. This is what it looks like filled out. You have your highlight of the day. What did you do today that brought you closer to your goals? You can write down some challenges or distractions, maybe things that you didn't do as well. And then you have a place to put a little photo dump where you can put a couple pictures from your day. It's almost like having a little um, personal Instagram to keep yourself accountable. And here you have your notes and resources section. So this is where you can create your own digital notebooks and your resource library. You can have different notebooks for different topics, different hobbies, goals. And when you create a new notebook, you'll see I already have a bunch of cover page options in there automatically for you in the template. And when you click into these, you can just drag one to be the front and that will be the cover of your notebook. You can attach your notebook to a goal. Let's say that this is like fitness notes. You know, you wanna take notes on some podcasts that you're listening to, right? And you can attach this to your goal to run a half marathon. You can attach this to your vision to run a sub three hour marathon. Um, you can add a tag of this is like a health and fitness notebook. And then down here, you can create different subsections of your notebooks and there's your notebook and then you can drag it so it's in rainbow order and then down here you have your resource library which is where you can put any helpful resources that you come across that you use all of the time or just things that you have come across that you don't want to forget about that are just good things to have something i use all the time for my taxes is quickbooks here you'll put in the url and this will create the base url which is the short one you can add a tag attach it to a goal so monthly budget meetings and attach it to a vision, which would be to make $1 million. So you can start to see how everything kind of gets connected. As you start to fill out this Notion template, the more things will start connecting. Everything connects, which just does something to my brain that I love. Final thing, the final two things, we're getting to the end here, is your apps. So here I put a bunch of the different Flourish Planner playlists. You also have a Pomodoro timer, and then you also have a calculator as well. And finally, the last page is your overview page. And this is a simple page with every single template in the planner. So you can see everything. You can see all of your vision, all of your goals, your master to-do list, which has all of your to-dos, your habit tracker, your notes, your resources, your daily journal, your widgets slash apps, and then Flourish Planner templates. So it has everything in there all on one page so you can just easily take a look at everything at once if you want to. I'm so excited to use this planner. I can't wait to fill it out for 2025. If you have any questions at all, just reach out to support at theflourishplanner.com. Yeah, I'm very, very excited about this. I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I do. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.